First step, motherboard back in the box. Secondly, the drives back in and the SATA cable and the power cable. They can't see. And again, uh, make sure they're back in safe because if you don't do this right, you will get banned from 360 Live, Xbox Live. It will ban you. Now time to plug in. Fans are on. Drives on. The power bricks in. The light is on. I thought you said this was a fix. And you starring me. Yes, well, what we have here is three red lights, the fans on top cooled in, the GPU, and underneath the drive, the graphics GPU is overheating. What? What do you mean that's overheating? Whoa. Don't shine that light in my eyes, a lazy fool. <laughs> oh, I see. After about 20 minutes or so, some people say 2 minutes and sometimes say 20 minutes, but you meant to make that get really hot. Anyway, don't burn the carpet and turn it off now, because ours doesn't work. Oh yeah, and if you're doing this, don't do your finger. Here it is, it all screwed up and done. Yes, here we have the Xbox. The bridge, heat bridge is in. All of the heat sinks are in. Drives back in. The X clamps originals are out and the X clamp fix is still in there. The thing is on with the arrows facing up. Very important if you're trying to fix one particularly. Be aware of the little red lights are. That is your power button. And this is the red ring of death. Shut up! Shut up! When you close your Xbox, make sure it clicks. Now you have a complete Xbox. Just switch it on. Like so, and watch the little red lights come back. That was pathetic. Pathetic! Idiot! Idiot, 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 idiot! I will now show you how to fix it the other ways. Here we have the heat gun method. The next crazy fix is a towel fix. We're not recommended to do a towel fix. All you do is you wrap your Xbox in a nice little towel so you keep it warm. Then overheat it for 20 minutes. Or until it starts to burn. If it starts to burn, get the fire extinguisher oh, it out. Make sure it's electrical friendly. Then, when it's nicely hot, Leave it for 20 minutes. Remember, 20 minutes is the key. And then it should work. We're not going to try this. We'll show you it. He deems it too dangerous. It is too dangerous. Ah, spell, spell. Next, and even more dodgy, is the standing on it method. All you do is get a big lump to stand on it. Oh, ha, ha. If all else fails, sell your hard drive on eBay. Sell your control pad on eBay and your power brick. Or, don't sell your power brick, keep it with it and sell it to somebody at a car boot sale. Or if you want a chance here, put it back on eBay.
Are you going to tell me where to get the bits from? All the parts what you need, including the X clamp, the cleaning fluid, the flux, and all the information can be found on eBay. And then, if you want to see how to, check out more accomplished people doing it on YouTube. People get it to work on YouTube, you know. This idiot didn't. But you're no idiot. You can get it to work. It is the way to do it, but it doesn't work, so it's not a good example. Make sure you do it right. Bye-bye. And by the way, you can see your hand, you fool. So... Catch us next time on our next video. I'll be fixing up a PlayStation 3. Xboxes are too hard. See you soon. I can see a hand.